All right. Forgive me, Pastor was having a senior moment. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to everyone um, joining us in person and virtually this morning via Zoom uh, on this Palm Passion Sunday. Just a reminder, there are forms on the table back there. If you have a student in an undergraduate or graduate program, or you are a student attending here in an undergraduate or graduate program, please fill out the form and make sure we have your information. Um, coming up will be finals for the year, and we do a special outreach to our student uh, college students at this time of year. Okay, um, finally, they've been sitting in my office in a box. I apologize for that, but there are growing young books. They are green uh, jacket. Um, you're welcome to pick one up, take it home and read through it uh, so that you can begin to learn more about growing young and uh, this initiative that we are undertaking, but they're on the back table as well. Feel free to grab a copy today. There are also two letters on, a, on the small table right at the back of the center aisle. Um, you are invited. Um, you do not have to take one. You are invited to take one. Um, they are a sample, meant as a sample letter um, to send to our state and federal um, level lawmakers um, regarding concerns around the growth of gun violence in this country. Um, they're generated by me. Uh, I did pass them by the Congregation Council and they were fine with them being put out for people to freely take if you wish. Um, and there is a card on top of each pile indicating uh, federal or state and uh, and as I said, you do not have to uh, take one at all, but you are welcome to do so today. I did want to let you know uh, I've been approached and we probably will, well not probably, I intend to be receiving new members in early May. And uh, if you or someone you know is interested in joining, please be sure to be in touch with myself or with Seth to let us know um, at your earliest convenience. Otherwise, is there anything anyone has for the good of our community this morning? I'll have to look around the lines here for the choir. Anyone else? Okay. Um, this morning, the opening of our service is a very special uh, opening. Um, in fact, about half of the service, or a little better, will be a dramatic presentation of um, the events that occurred during Holy Week on that first um, approach to Easter and Christ's resurrection. Um, I thank those who are, were willing to participate in that endeavor and uh, look forward to the presentation along with all of you. You have congregational parts um, so please participate at the appropriate time. The other thing I would note is, as it says at the end of your, uh, the congregation's um, material, um, everything will then go back up to being on our monitors. During the presentation, you will see purely pictures of each segment as it is occurring. The words are on your printed sheets. Um, again, communion packets are available up here in the front or in the back for those who um, wish to take communion at your seats. Otherwise, we'll be receiving communion as you come forward, um, as we have been practicing. Um, and again, for our young children, the tables at the front are set up for a pray ground and children are welcome to come forward and to sit, color. Um, they're little pamphlets to do things with as well. Again, thank you to everyone who has made this service possible, and especially to our bell choir this morning uh, for their music, which they will now do as we prepare ourselves to worship on this Palm Passion Sunday.
Jesus drew near to Bethphage and Bethany at the mount that is called Olivet, he sent ahead two of his disciples, saying, Go into the village opposite. There you will find a colt tied, on which no one has ever yet sat. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, Why are you untying it? You shall say, The Lord has need of it. So those who were sent went away and found it as he had told them. And they said, The Lord has need of it. And they brought it to Jesus, and throwing their garments on the colt, they set Jesus upon it. And as he rode along, they spread their garments on the road. 
as he was now drawing near at the descent of the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of the disciples began to rejoice and to praise God with a loud voice for all the mighty works that they had seen, saying, city, he wept over it, saying, Would that even today you knew the things that make for peace. But now they are hid from your eyes. O Jerusalem, the days shall come upon you when your enemies will cast up a bank about you and surround you, and hem you in on every side, and dash you to the ground, and you and your children within you. And they will not leave one stone upon another in you, because you did not know the time of your visitation. Dream. 
Now the feast of unleavened bread drew near, which is called the Passover. And the temple priests were seeking how to put Jesus to death, for they feared the people. Then Satan entered into Judas, Judas called Iscariot, who was of the number of the twelve. He went away and conferred with the temple priests and officers how he might betray him to them. And they were glad and engaged to give him money. So he agreed and sought an opportunity to betray him to them in the absence of the multitude. Then came the day of unleavened bread, on which the Passover lamb had to be sacrificed. So Jesus sent Peter and John, saying, Go and prepare the Passover for us, that we may eat it. They said to him, But where, Lord, where will you have us prepare us, and what are we to do? He said to them, Behold, when you have entered the city, a man carrying a jar of water will meet you. Follow him into the house which he enters, and tell the householder, The teacher says to you, Where is the guest room where I am to eat the Passover with my disciples? And he will show you a large upper room furnished. There make ready. And they went and found it as he had told them, and they prepared the Passover. When the hour came, he sat at the table and the apostles with him. And he said to them, I have earnestly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I shall not eat it until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. And he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he said, Take this and divide it among yourselves. For I tell you, that from now on I shall not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. And he took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And likewise, the cup after supper, taking this cup, which is poured out for you, is the new covenant in my blood. But behold the hand of him who betrays me, is with me on the table. For the Son of Man goes as it has been determined, but woe to that man by whom he is betrayed. And they began to question, Who the Lord, who is to betray you? Is it I, is it I? He answered, He who has dipped his hand in the dish with me will betray me. Oh, it would have been better for that man if he had not been born. Judas, who betrayed him, said, Is it I, Master? Jesus said to him, You have said so. Simon Peter was indignant, but not I, he said, and he declared, though they will all fall away from you, I will never leave you. Peter, truly I say to you, this very night, before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. Peter said to him, even if I must die with you, I will never deny you. And so said all the disciples, Lord.
out and went, as was his custom, to the Mount of Olives, and the disciples followed him. And when he came out to the place, he said to them, Pray that you may not enter into temptation. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us, deliver us. And he withdrew from them about a stone's throw and knelt down and prayed, Father, if thou art willing, remove this cup from me, Netherless, not my will, but thine be done. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Thy will be done. Thy will be done. Will be done. And when he rose from prayer, he came to the disciples and found them sleeping for sorrow. And he said to them, Why do you sleep? Rise and pray that you may not enter into temptation. Lead us not to temptation. While he was speaking, there came a crowd, and the man called Judas, one of the twelve, was leading them. He drew near to Jesus to kiss him. But Jesus said to him, Judas, would you betray the Son of Man with a kiss? Judas said, Hail, Master. When the disciples saw what would follow, they said, Lord, shall we strike with the sword? And one of them struck the slave of the high priest and cut off his right ear. But Jesus said, No more of this. And he touched his ear and healed him. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Jesus said to those who had come out against him, When I was with you day after day in the temple, you did not lay hands on me. But this is your hour in the power of darkness. Then they seized him. him away, bringing him to the high priest's house. Peter followed at a distance, and when they had kindled a fire in the middle of the courtyard and sat down together, Peter sat among them. Then a man, seeing him sit in the light, said, This man also is with you. But he denied it, saying, Woman, I do not know him. And a little later, someone else saw him and said, You are one of them. But Peter said, Man, I am not. An hour later, another insisted, saying, Certainly this is man also who is with him, for he is our man. But Peter said, Man, I do not know what you are saying. And immediately, while he was still speaking, the cock crowed, and the Lord turned and looked at Peter. And Peter remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said to him, Before the cock crows today, you will deny me three times. And he went out and wept bitterly. Now the men who were holding Jesus mocked him and beat him. They blindfolded him and demanded, Prophesy, who is it that struck you? And they spoke many other words against him, reviling him. When the day came, the assembly of the elders of the people gathered together and led him to their council. And they said, If you are the Christ, tell us. But he said to them, If I tell you, you will not believe, and if I ask you now, you will not answer. <clears throat> but, from, <clears throat> but from now on, the Son of Man shall be seated at the right hand of the power of God. And they said, Are you the Son of God then? And he said to them, You say that I am. And they said, Blasphemy! What further testimony do we need? We have heard it ourselves. Then the whole company of them arose and brought him before Pontius Pilate. And they began to curse him, saying, We found this man perverting our nation and forbidding us to give tribute to Caesar, and saying that he himself is Christ the King. And Pilate asked, 
asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? And he answered him, You have said so. And Pilate said to the chief priests in the multitudes, I find no crime in this man. But they were urgent, saying, He stirs up the people, teaching him about Galilee, even to this place. And when Pilate heard that he was a Galilean of Herod's jurisdiction, he sent him to Herod where he was ve vehemently accused and treated with con con contempt and mocked and arrayed in gorgeous purple and then sent back again. Pilate said to the rulers of the people, you brought me this man as one who was perverting the people and after examining him, behold, I, find, I did not find him guilty of any of these charges against him. Behold, nothing deserving death has been done by him. I will therefore chastise him and release him. But they all cried out together, Away with this man! Away! Away! Release to us Barabbas! Barabbas, a man who had been thrown into prison for insurrection and for murder. Pilate addressed them once more, desiring to release Jesus. But they shouted out, Crucify him! Crucify him! Why? Whatever has he done? I found no crime in him deserving death. I'll chase him. I'll release him. And their voices prevailed. So Pilate gave sentence to their demand should be granted. He released the man who had been jailed for murder, but he delivered Jesus to their will. to their will. And as they led him away, they seized one Simon of Cyrene, who was coming in from the country, and laid on him the cross to carry it behind Jesus. And there followed him a great multitude of women, who bewailed and lamented him. But Jesus, turning then to them said, Daughter of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For behold, the days are coming when they will say, Blessed are the barren and the wombs that never bore, and the breast that never gave suck. For if they do this when the wood is green, what will happen when it dries? Thank you. 
Two others also, who were criminals, were led away to be put to death with him. And when they came to the place which is called the Skull, there they crucified him and the criminals, one on the right and one on the left. said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Forgive us our trespasses. And they cast lots to divide the stars. Forgive us our trespasses. And the people stood by watching, but the rulers scoffed at them, saying, He saved others, let him save himself, if he is the Christ of God. Forgive us our trespasses. The soldiers also mocked him, coming up and offering him vinegar. There was an inscription over him, This is the king of the Jews. Forgive us our trespasses. Forgive us, O Lord, our trespasses. One of the criminals who were hanged with him railed at him, saying, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence, and we justly? But this man has done nothing wrong. And he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Forgive us our trespasses. Deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom. And Jesus said to him, And the power. Truly, truly, I say to you, And the glory. Today you will be with me in paradise. now about the sixth hour, and there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour, all the sun's light failed, and the curtain of the temple was torn in two from the top to the bottom. Then Jesus, crying with a loud voice, said, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. And having said this, he breathed his last. 
And all the multitudes who had assembled to see this sight, when they saw what had taken place, returned home, leading their hearts. And, and all his acquaintances and the women who had followed him from Galilee stood at a distance and saw these things. Were you Now there was a good name, man named Joseph from the town of Arimathea, a good man, a righteous man, one looking for the kingdom of God. This man went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then he took it down and wrapped it in a linen shroud and laid him in a rock-hewn tomb where no one had ever been laid. It was the day of preparation and the Sabbath was beginning. The women who had come with him from Galilee followed and saw the tomb and how his body was laid. Then they returned and prepared spices and ointments. On the Sabbath they rested according to the commandment.
Please rise. Sustained by God's abundant mercy, let us pray for the church, the world, and all of creation. Save your church, O God. Enable us to boldly confess in every time and place that Jesus Christ is Lord. With the humility of a servant, equip congregations, synods, and other ministry settings to proclaim your extravagant love for all. Merciful God, receive our prayer. Save your creation, O God. Every living being you have made has purpose. Give us renewed appreciation of farm animals who labor in the fields and provide us with food on our tables, service animals who accompany and bring comfort to their human companions, and beloved pets who live alongside of us. Merciful God, receive our prayer. Save the peoples of the earth, O God. Restore dignity to those who are scorned and persecuted for their religious beliefs or political activism, and deliver them from the hand of their enemies. Bring peace to places where conflict runs deep, especially the Middle East, South Sudan, and Ukraine. Merciful God, receive our prayer. Save all of your children, inclusive God. We pray for the transgender community as they face increasingly harmful legislation and violence. We remember that our trans siblings are diverse and an act of evil from one person does not represent an entire community. Allow our hearts to break for the lives lost in Nashville and for the blame that is wrongfully being laid at the feet of all of our transgender siblings. Allow your Holy Spirit to guide us in both love and action. Merciful God, receive our prayer. Save those who cry to you in any need, O God. Watch over all who are incarcerated or awaiting trial and stand with those who are unjustly accused. Be present with those feeling isolated, lonely, or fearful. Bring healing and respite to those who look to you, especially Kathy, Sherwood, Gail, Deb, Betty, Bo, Ruth, Carl, Suzanne, Brian, Jennifer, Scott, Joanne, Ron, Jackson, Sony, Michael, Doris, Hudson, Kira, Jennifer, Becca, Bishop DeForest, Charlene, Richard, the residents of West Reading and the families and friends of those who died in the explosion at the candy factory last Friday, the people of Nashville, Tennessee, the families and children of Covenant Elementary School and the families and friends of those who were killed. Merciful God, receive our prayer. Save us in your love, O God. Guide the work of church musicians, pastors, choirs, readers, deacons, technicians, acolytes, altar guilds, and all who assist in worship. Sustain them in their leadership as they accompany congregations through this holy week. Merciful God, receive our prayer. Fill us with your grace so that we can rejoice with those who celebrate birthdays this week. Bless Amanda Zell, Susan Angela Santi, Kimberly Kern, Miriam Ligamari, Ryan Matz, Stephen Hobaugh, Owen Culp, Nirvana Wurst, Bud Kelchner, Trevor Schur, Ryan Horvath, Neil Robertson, Ken Kunkel, Hannah Duvall, Joseph Jedwab, Leslie Schlegel, and Judy Dry. Bring joy to all who have cause to celebrate in these days for any reason. Merciful God, receive our prayer. Save us at the last, O God. We give you thanks for your saints of old who embodied your servant love. As you came to their aid, so deliver us in times of trial that every knee would bend in praise to you. Merciful God, receive our prayer. We lift our prayers to you, O God, trusting in your steadfast love and your promise to renew your whole creation through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. And now the peace of Christ be with you always. And also with you. I invite you to share that peace as you are comfortable doing so.
us pray. God of good gifts, receive these and all our offerings as we present them in faithful service for the sake of your gospel. Prepare our hearts to receive you in this meal as you pour out your very presence through Christ Jesus, the wellspring of eternal life. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should, at all times and in all places, give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior, Jesus Christ, whose suffering and death gave salvation to all. You gather your people around the tree of the cross, transforming death into life. And so, with all the choirs of angels, with the church on earth and the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to, to his disciples to eat, saying, this is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of of me. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. You may be seated. And those who are at home and those here who wish, who are using one of the packets, um, you may now take the wafer and receive with these words, the body of Christ given for you, take and eat. And in like manner, now the cup. The blood of Christ shed for you. Take and drink. And those who wish to receive communion by coming forward, um, you may do so as you are ready.
speared his side. They mocked his fate. The sinless from above. And though he hung in agony, he murmured low his love. He murmured low. The love of God for all the each is and prayed, dear Lord, forgive them all their sin. Such love as his was never known. The love of Christ the King, despised, rejected of his own, he still to them would cling. Yes, cling to them who cursed him there and nailed him to a tree. Ah, sinner, be assured Christ's love is also meant for thee.
body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you now and keep you in his grace now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Embodied God, at your table we have tasted the goodness of Jesus. With the eyes of our hearts open to your promise, empower us to hear the needs of our neighbors and touch the world with your love. Amen. Amen. And now, God, the giver of love, Christ, the resurrection and the life, and the Holy Spirit of rebirth, bless you in this Lenten journey. Amen. Amen.